Sergio Soli was an Italian actor and stage director. Born in Naples, Soli was originally a hairdresser who acted in small amateur dramatics as a hobby, but his career had a turning point in the 1970s after a successful audition with Eduardo de Filippo. In cinema, he had a busy career as a character actor, both in dramatic and comedic roles, and is best remembered for his roles in Luciano de Crescenzo's films. Sully died on 3 February 2023, at the age of 78. Vanni Jaram, also credited as Vanni Jayaram, was an Indian playback singer in South Indian cinema. Vanni's career started in 1971 and has spanned over five decades. She did playback for over 1,000 Indian movies recording over 10,000 songs. Renowned for her vocal range and easy adaptability to any difficult composition, Bani has often been the choice for several composers across India through the 1970s until the late 1990s. Bani died following a fall on 4 February 2023, at the age of 77. José Luis de Magalhães Lins was a Brazilian banker. A head of Banco Nacional de Minas Gerais, he became famous in the 1960s as the main patron of the Cinema Novo film movement and as one of the most influential sponsors of cultural production at the time. Linz held more than 50 positions throughout the profession in areas such as insurance, trade, production and exports, in addition to the banking market. Linz died on 3 February 2023 at the age of 93 in his home in Rio de Janeiro. Luciano Armani was an Italian professional road bicycle racer. In the 1971 Tour de France, Louis Ocana was leading the race after his great victory in the 11th stage. Eddie Merckx was more than 10 minutes behind. After the rest day, Merckx attacked in the 12th stage from the start, following his teammate Rini Wachtmans. Armani and some other cyclists joined them, and the group stayed away. Armeni died on 4 February 2023, at the age of 82. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.